The 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption, when a mountain blew its top, the warning signs were loud. In March 1980, Mount St. Helens, located in Washington state, began rumbling with a series of earthquakes and steam explosions. Scientists knew something big was coming, but not how big. A sideways blast. On May 18, 1980, at 8.32 a.m., a 5.1 magnitude earthquake triggered the largest landslide in recorded history, which uncorked the volcano and caused a massive lateral, sideways eruption, an extremely rare event. Top of the mountain gone, the eruption blew 1,300 feet 400 meters off the summit and carved out a gaping horseshoe-shaped crater. The eruption released energy equivalent to 24 megatons of TNT, over 1,500 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. The speed of destruction, a superheated pyroclastic surge, a mix of gas, ash, and rock, raced outward at over 300 miles per hour, 480 kilometers per hour, flattening everything in a 230 square mile zone. Ash in the sky for days, the volcano blasted 540 million tons of ash into the atmosphere. Ash fell as far as Oklahoma, turned skies dark and grounded plains. Some towns were blanketed in inches of gritty dust. A landscape erased. Forests near the mountain were leveled like matchsticks, with trees blown down in perfect radial patterns. Spirit Lake was buried and lifted, and entire river systems were clogged with debris. 57 lives lost. Among those killed was Harry R. Truman, the famously stubborn lodge owner who refused to evacuate. The eruption also took the lives of scientists, campers, and loggers, some vaporized in seconds. An outdoor laboratory, since 1980, the area has become one of the world's most studied volcanic sites. Scientists monitor how life returns to a scorched landscape, offering insight into ecological recovery and volcanic behavior. An active volcano still, Mount St. Helens is not extinct. It erupted again in 2004 to 2008, and scientists continue to monitor it closely. It's part of the Cascade Range, which includes other potentially dangerous volcanoes like Mount Rainier. America's wake-up call, the eruption transformed U.S. volcanic preparedness. It led to advances in volcano monitoring, emergency planning, and the creation of the Cascade Volcano Observatory.